students let us solve the fourth problem this problem has come for 2019 prepare a cash budget for three months ending 30th june 2016 and the following are given as below so you need to prepare a cash budget so we have totally five months with us feb march april may and june but we need to prepare only for month ending june three months then it's april may june so cash budget is required to be prepared only for three months april may june ending but we have an additional two months information feb and march sales is treated as a receipt material payment wages payment overheads payment credit terms are 10 percent sales on cash 50 percent of credit sales are collected next month and the balance in the following month so that means students 10 percent sales on cash so if 10 percent is on cash the 90 percent is on credit 10 percent is on cash then 90 percent will be on credit again 90 percent credit sales 50 percent will be received next month and another 50 percent will be received the following month that is the the next month example assume that sales is 100 rupee 10 rupee will be cash sales will be received in the same month remaining 90 rupee is called credit sales in that 90 rupee 45 rupee will be received next month and another 45 rupee will be received the following month so conclusion sales 10 percent is cash will be received in the same month 90 percent is called credit that will be received in two installments 50 percent will be received in next month and another 50 percent will be received in the following month material two months what does this mean whatever material you purchase will be paid after two months it means 9600 material for february will be paid in april 9000 material of march will be paid in may 9200 material of april will be paid in june so material two months late wages one fourth month that is one fourth here we mean 25 percent that means 25 percent will be paid next month 75 percent will be paid in same month three fourth means 75 percent so 75 percent means three fourth will be paid in the same month and one fourth will be paid in next month for example students you take wages 3000 so 3000 into 3 by 4 you get 2250 will be paid in february and remaining 750 that is 3000 into 1 by 4 remaining 1 fourth 750 will be paid in march next to students overheads 50 percent to be paid in the same month overhead 50 percent is paid in the same month and another 50 percent will be paid in next month that is uh, overheads for february is 1700 in this 850 will be paid in february and another 850 will be paid in march and overhead for march is 1900 so 50 percent of this 950 will be paid in march and another 950 will be paid in april and so on next cash and bank balance on 1st april 2006 is expected to be 6000 so 6000 is called opening cash 
in for the month of april other relevant information number 1 plant and machinery will be installed in february 2006 sorry 16 at a cost of 96000 the monthly installment 2000 is payable from april onwards it is treated as a payment so april may june 2000 2000 2000 needs to be paid dividend at 5% on preference share capital 2000 will be paid on 1st june so it is a payment so on preference share you need to pay dividend it's a payment 2 lakh into 5% you get 10000 2 lakh into 5% you get 10000 So ten thousand is a payment in the month of June. Advance to be received for sale on vehicle nine thousand in June will be received in June. So you need to treat this as receipt. So in the receipt side, you will be treating nine thousand as a receipt. Dividend from investing amounting to rupees thousand expected to be received in June. so this is called dividend which on investment which is a receipt so we have totally two receipt one is advance on sale of vehicle and other dividend on investment income tax advance to be paid in june 2016 so that means it's a treated as a payment so students if you kindly look at this uh let us go to the working note actually now we need to go for working note first let us go for sales so i'm dividing the sales into three category 10% sales is cash if 10% is cash 90% will be credit in that 90% 45% will be received next month and another 45% will be received in the following month so now let us calculate so first what you do take the total sales of february the total sales of february is 14000 so 14000 into 10% 1400 into 45% 6300 into 45% 6300 so 1400 is called cash sales 6300 6300 is treated as credit sales so we are dividing credit sales into two parts 50% 50% out of 90% see students total sales 100% in that 10% is cash 90% is credit in that 90% 50% will be received in the next month and another 50% will be received in the following month so 90% into 50% if you do you get 45 and 45 that is 90% we are dividing into 50 50 similarly come to march the total sales of march is 15000 15000 into 10% 1500 into 45% 45% you get 6750 6750 like that you calculate the sales into three categories for april may and june so once you make the calculation next find out what you are going to receive in the month of april okay students can you listen in the month of april you will receive 1600 got the point will be you will be receiving 1600 next you will be receiving uh february's see february we have 6300 6300 will be received in i repeat 6300 will be received in march and another 6300 will be received in april okay students so let us 
once again go to students so after calculating the sales for 10 percent 45 percent 45 percent let us go for so here i made certain markings so whichever you feel convenient you can able to look into see students coming to the month of february 1400 will be received in february 6300 will be received in following month that's march and 6300 will be received in the following month that is april so 1400 will be received in february 6300 will be received in march and 6300 will be received in april hope you understand the line directions so i have made certain uh, lines created a diagram type so kindly look into now come back to march 10% 1500 will be received in march 6750 will be received in april and another 6750 will be received in may come to april 1600 will be received in april 7200 will be received in may and 7200 will be received in june come to may 7700 will be received in may 7650 will be received in june and 7650 will be received in july which we are not bothered because we stop at july june we are not bothered about july we stop at june come back to june june 1800 will be received in june itself 8100 will be received in july we are not bothered and another 1800 will be received in august we are not bothered so all this yellow color is a sales amount to be received in the month of april all blue color which i have highlighted will be received in the month of may all green color highlighted will be received in the month of june okay students if you have not understood the color one you can look at the line which i have extended now come back to wages what do they mention in the wages in the question there's a lag in the payment of wages of quarter that is three fourth will be paid in the same month one fourth will be paid in the next month so calculate wages first divide the wages into two parts three fourth one fourth the total wages of february is three thousand three thousand into three by four two thousand two fifty into one by four seven fifty next similarly calculate for march similarly calculate for april the total wages of april is 3200 3200 into 3 by 4 2400 into 1 by 4 800 now 750 will be paid in march i repeat students 750 will be paid in march another 750 will be paid in april another 800 will be paid in may and 900 will be paid in june and 1000 will be paid in july so now carefully observe students so what will you pay for the month of april because we need to prepare the cash budget from april so you will pay 2400 okay so you will pay 2400 plus so what will you pay for the month of april 2400 plus 750 what will you pay for the month of may 2700 plus 800 what will you pay for the month of june 3900 you will pay 3900 come back to overheads in case of overheads uh, you pay 50 percent same month 50 percent next month so first make a calculation 850 850 that is total 1900 so 1900 sorry 1700 into 50 percent 50 percent you get 850 850 for the month of march is 1900 950 950 and so on so 850 you pay same month another 850 you pay next month 
okay students so 850 you pay in the month of march 950 you pay in the month of april 1000 you pay in the month of may and 1100 you pay in the month of june and 1150 you will pay the next month so now let us look into what you are going to pay in the month of uh, april so april you will pay 1000 okay plus 950 So you will pay thousand nine fifty. What will you pay for the month of May? Thousand one hundred plus thousand. You pay two thousand one hundred. What will you pay for the month of June? Thousand one fifty plus thousand one hundred. So you pay two thousand two fifty. Okay, students. Let us look at the questions. So now cash budget for the month. Three months ending, we need to prepare. So we get opening balance six thousand for the month of April. Receipts, uh, you receive ten percent cash sale same month, and uh, this six thousand seven fifty is a sales of is a sales of March, and six thousand three hundred is a credit sales of February. So, any doubts? Can you look at this for working note? If you have understood the working note, statement becomes easy. So, the advance is received only in the month of June for sale of vehicle, and dividend on investment received only in the month of June. So, total received twenty thousand six fifty. Then material, as you all know, there is a lag in payment is two months. So, February you pay in April, March you pay in May, and so on like that. wages there is a lag in payment of wages to the extent of quarter month kindly go through the uh, previous slides working notes over it kindly look at working notes and uh, dividend on preference share is paid only in the month of june and plant and machinery we need to pay installment from uh, which month is given in the question is february so april may june you have to pay continuously two months installment income tax is paid only in the month of june Then total payment you get sixteen thousand seven hundred, so twenty thousand six fifty plus sixteen, the minus sixteen thousand seven hundred you get closing balance three thousand nine fifty, that becomes the opening balance of June May, then go to sales thousand seven hundred seven thousand two hundred six thousand seven fifty. Any doubts? Can you look at previous slide? Total receipts nineteen thousand six hundred, then material March material you make a payment in. may and then wages kindly go through the slides previous overheads kindly go through the previous dividends are not paid plant and machinery 2000 installment income tax dash so total payment 16600 so closing balance 3000 carry forward for the month of june opening balance then sales 1800 7650 7200 we have discussed in the previous slide we received an advance of 9000 for sale of vehicle given in adjustment and then 1000 rupee dividend on investment is being received total receipts 29650 then material 9200 due april material you pay in the month of june then wages overheads can you go through the slides of previous one and dividend on preference share 2 lakh into 5% Preference share capital two lakh into five percent, you get ten thousand. Plant and machinery installment paid two thousand. Income tax is paid in the month of June two thousand. Total payments twenty nine thousand three hundred and fifty. So you get a closing balance of three thousand. Sorry, three hundred. Any doubts? Kindly contact through WhatsApp. Thank you.